Welcome back. In this video, we are going to make a Christmas related scratch game in under 10 minutes. Okay, so let's open up Scratch. Start a new project. We're going to delete the cat. Let's create our snowman. So go to new, create new character. We're going to create a circle, first of all, for our snowman's head. Then we're going to collect, create the snowman's body. We are going to then select the square to create a rectangle and then a square on top for the hat. Going to make those both black. Once again, we're going to create some small circles, which are going to be the eyes. Duplicate that. Let's move the eyes into there. Fantastic. Let's now create a small triangle and colour that orange so it's like a carrot for the nose. Um, let's again duplicate the eyes for some buttons. There we go. Let's move all that together now. Brilliant, and now let's select brown. Free draw tool for some arms. Actually, I think we do them a bit better. Let's try that again, a bit thicker. Great. And last thing, let's have a nice blue scarf. There we go. So there's our snowman. Let's press tick to select that. Let's make him oh, a touch smaller. Great. Now what we want to do is create our next character, which is going to be a square, because that square is going to be part of our joypad. So there's one. Select the same one again, and let's just color it a different color. This one's going to be red. Again, this one's going to be green. The last one is going to be purple. Okay, so let's move them. Oh. Great, so let's code these. So when the purple square is touched, we want it to send a purple message. When the green button is touched, we want to send a green message. When the red button is touched, we want to send a red message. And when the blue button is pressed, we want to send a blue message. Let's code our snowman now to react to that. So when it receives a green message, we want the snowman to move left. When the snowman receives a purple message, we want it to move right. When the snowman receives a red message, we want it to move up. And when the snowman receives the blue message, we want it to move down. So let's go full screen, just test that out. It goes up, goes right goes left, goes down, fantastic. Let's reset that, fantastic. So now what we need to do is we're gonna create a second page and we're gonna delete the cat. We're gonna put uh, add our snowman character. Let's make them a bit bigger. There we go, great. And let's add a message. Merry Xmas. Apple Pencil does not like doing um, the capital X's. So we have to go to the keyboard. Right, let's make it a bit bigger. Fantastic. There we go. So we want that to appear once the time is up. So let's now create our timer. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, I think, a red circle to be the backdrop of our 
timer. We're also now going to create an arrow. Okay, let's make that arrow a bit smaller. Middle, fantastic, let's code that now. So when the um, green flag is start pressed, we want the arrow to rotate and we will then want it to wait three tenths of a second. We want this whole thing to repeat 12 times because it takes 12 revolutions. Then once that is done, oh, once that is done, we want the screen to change to our Merry Christmas screen there. Fantastic. Right. Last we need to do now is add our stars, which we're going to collect. So let's find the star. Let's slightly edit that so that it's a nicer, brighter yellow. Great. Let's put that one there. Let's add another one. Oh no, actually, let's see if we can, I think it would have already appeared there's the one we've made. Great. Great. Obviously, feel free to add as many as you wish in your game. Okay, so let's spread them out a little bit. Right, now what we want to do is code them. So very simply, when they are touched, they are just going to disappear. And we can just copy that all the way to all of the stars we've got there. Just double check they've all got code on them. They do, fantastic. Right, let's give it a test, full screen. Collecting the stars. Time on that. Merry Christmas. Brilliant job. Well done. Congratulations and well done on making your game. If you do need any help or have any questions, please leave a comment below. The next video should appear somewhere on the screen shortly. And if you want to keep up with all the games we're producing throughout December, please subscribe here.